Hello children, welcome to online class. Today we'll start new chapter, chapter number two, nutrition in animal. Today we will learn about human digestive system. It consists of following organs and glands: buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, anus, salivary gland. liver and pancreas the food we eat passes through a long muscular canal called alimentary canal or digestive tract which begins at the buccal cavity and ends at the anus we take in food through the mouth digest and utilize it the tongue jaws and teeth work together to grind the food the undigested part of the food are expelled from the body we have learned that process of taking food into the body is called ingestion human being have mouth for the ingestion of food from the mouth the food goes into the buccal cavity the buccal cavity contains teeth tongue and salivary gland the teeth break the food tongue helps in mixing saliva with food it helps in pushing and thus swallowing the food into the food pipe the salivary gland produces saliva the saliva contains an enzyme called amylase saliva also make the food wet and slimy see children there are some pictures the first picture is of tongue second teeth and third is buccal cavity esophagus is a connecting tube between the mouth and the stomach digestion of food does not takes place in esophagus when the slightly digested food enters the food pipe the walls of the esophagus start contracting and expanding to push the food down into the stomach the stomach is a j shaped bag like a structure made of muscles it receives food from the food pipe at one end and opens into the small intestine at the other end the stomach secrete mucus gastric juice and hydrochloric acid mucus protect the lining of the stomach hydrochloric acid kills microorganism food is the roughly mixed with the gastric juice secreted by the gastric gland present in the stomach the food remains in the stomach for 1 to 4 hours depending on the type of food small intestine is the longest part of the digestive system it is a coiled tube and is about 7 meter in length in the small intestine the food is mixed with bile juice and pancreatic juice these are secreted by the liver and the pancreas absorption of food occurs through millions of small finger like projection called villi the villi increases the surface area for absorption the utilization of absorbed nutrients into the cell component is called assimilation large intestine it is the last organ of the digestive system it is about 1.5 meter in length it helps in absorbing water and in removing undigested solid waste from the body in the form of feces through an opening called anus anus is the last part of the alimentary canal its main function is to expel semi solid feces out of the body so children i hope you understood today's topic in the next class we'll start new topic